About seven years ago, I returned to England from my second holiday in Thailand. And back then, I felt motivated from the culture and the laid-back lifestyle. But after a few months of being back, I had this revelation that I need to get back there again. And this time, when I go there, I wanted to stay there. I wanted to start trying to make money online, so I started a business and decided I wanted to make YouTube videos as well, as I like making videos with cool effects. When everything was ready, I hit the road and I started the journey. I just wanted palm trees, neon lights, and when I got here, that's what I went to. And a lot of other places all around Thailand as well. It felt like a permanent holiday. And then just the other day, I wondered how long have I actually been here? And I checked, and about a week ago, it was 537 days, and it got me thinking, where's all the time gone? When you're living here, it feels like everything you're doing is on fast forward, even without realizing. And then I thought, I need to slow things down. Maybe I'm thinking like this because it's the rainy season again. But what I have noticed that's weird is when I'm chilling in the condo with my girlfriend, I often get these thoughts of deja vu, like I've been here before. Maybe this is my brain telling me to stop repeating myself. Now what I value most out here, without a shadow of a doubt, is my time. You only get so much of your time here when you've got things like work and a girlfriend. And I have sacrificed a lot of my time out here that I could have been using making YouTube videos or exploring or whatever. Now while having a girlfriend out here is great, with that and work, your time frame is screwed. And what I have begun to realise is when you've done everything in Pattaya, you've done all the cool activities that you always wanted to do, you do actually spend a lot of time just chilling, doing boyfriend, girlfriend stuff. And living in Pattaya, it just makes it so comfortable and so easy to do that, which I don't like and it gives me bad vibes. Well in my head, I now feel like I need to convert all of this negative energy into something productive. And obviously, YouTube is always going to be the answer. I actually want to get back to the stage of how I felt on day one, making videos on that day. And I'm starting to feel a lot like that now, even as I'm making this video. So I guess what I'm trying to say is that I've made mistakes getting a job and getting a girlfriend, basically. Sometimes things just happen randomly and you don't know why. I don't really regret anything that I've done, but I might have mistakenly been using my time, if that makes sense. If you guys have had any similar experiences or you want to share anything, leave a comment below because I enjoy reading. Let's talk now about some financial mistakes that I've made. And this is important to note if you're ever thinking of coming here. I wasted a lot of money moving around different parts of Pattaya and Jom Tien, staying in different condos, different apartments. As I just thought, oh, I'll stay here for a few weeks. Then I'll have a look on Airbnb, stay over here. Check on booking.com, stay over there. And I didn't actually know how easy it was to get a condo out here. I saw all these nice buildings everywhere and it just didn't cross my mind about going in there and checking out the rooms. Maybe I should have done some more research. Well, I definitely should have done some more research. And another thing that I spent a fortune on is these stupid 7-Eleven SIM card deals. I must have spent a fortune buying these every week or two, topping up. And the sooner you get a phone contract out here, the better. I guess the point I'm trying to make here is that I feel like I've wasted a lot of time and a lot of money. And I think I've just got to accept that now, which I have. But going forward, things are going to be a lot different now. I've got plans to switch it all around and start regaining it all back. You'll see in the future videos. Living here and coming on a holiday is completely different. And sometimes it's hard to find the balance, especially when you first get here and you first come to Thailand. It's easy to spend a lot of money here if you don't really know the conversion rates. And if you're hanging around with people spending a lot more money than you. 
when you first get here it's very easy to just go out drinking every day as it feels like a holiday you want to enjoy yourself you want to make the most of your time you don't want to be sat in the room every day that's why you came here you want to explore so you're going to spend money it's only natural but there comes a point when you need to find the balance when you've got all these bills that you need to pay when i first got here i didn't have any bills and now i've got a phone bill condo bill netflix subscription both food but you buy food anyway but you're gonna get bills wherever you are in the world and they're gonna keep on coming so it's best not to think about that and just think how you can use your time more wisely to get more money to pay for those bills everyone makes mistakes wherever you are nobody's perfect and it's only natural but what's actually important is how you deal with all these mistakes how you combat it and what you're gonna do afterwards it's no good just sitting around dwelling thinking what if could if maybe but you need to actually get out there and do stuff to change it and like i said this goes for wherever you are in the world not just thailand going forward i hope that i make less and less mistakes the longer you live here the more you know the less time that you waste and the less money that you waste too but it's all a learning curve i'm sure if i was from thailand and i moved to england for a year there'd be a whole bunch of mistakes that i would make over there the longer you stay in one place the more you know the more you learn the more money you save and the more time you save value your time and you value your money i've got two bits of advice for you get a phone contract and get a condo straight away and the second bit of advice is if you value your time maybe not get a girlfriend because they do take up a lot of time and i'm sort of stuck in a predicament now where i don't want to leave her but i do want time so i'm trying to manage my time more better I don't want to go ahead and waste all this time that we spent together so i'm going to try and make it work but we'll see what happens who knows if you know let me know i do actually want to do a lot more traveling around thailand and i've got some plans to do that soon and just so you all know i'm no longer working in the bar anymore so for all you people out there asking me what bar i work at i don't work there so you can't come and see me unfortunately but if you want to see me you can buy me some coffees or send me an email i have actually started a new business out here and it's quite exciting and i'll let you know all about that in a future video and hopefully that's going to take me on some travels around thailand so we'll see how that goes at the end of the day you've just got to have gratitude and that's what i keep telling myself i've got to be grateful for what i do have and i shouldn't make videos about moaning about all these negative things because because not everyone gets to come here and live on the beach and do this kind of stuff so i need to be grateful and i do need to keep telling myself if you're grateful for the things that you do have you're not gonna feel the need to be negative or moan about things which i tend to do quite a bit but anyway cheers guys if you want to support the channel you can buy me a coffee the link's in the description drop a comment if you've got any questions i like answering them peace guys see you in the next one